about a week ago, I made a tier ranking of DC animated shows, and I had a lot of fun with it, so this time I figured I'd do one of DCAU seasons. Not every single season within the DCAU is included here. Also, the movies are included, so I'll be ranking those as well. I'm not going to go into too much detail on any of these, because chances are I probably already have or will sometime in the future. I'll just start at the beginning of the list, make my way through, so starting with Mystery of the Batwoman. The best thing about this movie is probably the mystery itself, but halfway through it gets pretty predictable. The characters aren't very intriguing, the plot isn't very investing. Overall, it's just a disappointing entry, and by DCAU standard, it's pretty bad. So I'm going to put it in the D list. It's still a watchable movie, but I wouldn't watch it over anything else on this list. Now going from what I would consider to be the most disappointing entry into the DCAU to the best, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. Quite possibly the best Batman story ever told is without a doubt my favorite animated movie of all time. It does a fantastic job of telling you how the Joker is in the future. The dynamics between he and Terry McGinnis, he and Bruce are fantastic. All the characters are great. The flashback scene may be the best scene I've ever seen in anything. So it's definitely in the S tier. Mask of the Phantasm. A lot of people think this is the best animated Batman movie. Some people think it's the best Batman movie. A lot of people think it's the best entry into the DCAU. I don't think it's quite the best. Like I said, I already said Return of the Joker is my favorite, but this is really close to Return of the Joker. It tells a great story and it gives you a glimpse at a time that Bruce was thinking about not being Batman, something you don't see that often. Usually you see him determined to be Batman after his parents are killed. But you see him have a chance at not being Batman in this movie. Also, the Joker's in it, and Mark Hamill Joker is always amazing. Adds to the movie. Ties in with everything. The Phantasm is an intriguing villain, one of the best DCAU original characters. So Mask of the Phantasm, for me, is in the S tier as well. Now, the last movie before we get into the actual seasons, Batman and Mr. Free Sub-Zero. Absolutely love this movie. I think there are better adaptations of Mr. Freeze and the DCAU, better stories with him in it. But I do enjoy this one a lot. It kind of shows you the extent that Freeze will go to save Nora. And that's probably the best part about the movie. It has some amazing action scenes. And Batman's intro into the film is one of the most memorable scenes. It's cool to kind of see Mr. Freeze's henchmen being polar bears. He doesn't actually have henchmen in this episode. He just has two polar bears that follow him around. I'd probably say the worst thing about the film is the CGI in it. The CGI animation doesn't work all the time. And how bad it is is pretty noticeable. But this is still a perfectly enjoyable film. I can watch it at any time. I enjoy the heck out of it. It's just not the best Mr. Freeze story ever told. So, and it's, it doesn't match up to some of these seasons. It doesn't match up to Return of the Joker and Mask of the Phantasm. So I'm going to put it in the B tier. It's really close to being A tier for me. Now getting into the actual seasons, Batman Beyond Season 1. This is definitely the best season of the show. It's the most contained season. Over half of the episodes in the season are great episodes. The overarching story with Blight is interesting. Blight is a pretty good villain throughout. Blight himself is a villain to Batman, Terry McGinnis. And on the business side of things, Derek Powers is a villain to Bruce Wayne. So two interesting dynamics clashing there. The season doesn't come without its problems though. Of course it has flaws. A couple episodes aren't that great. But overall it's a fantastic season. But I can't quite put it in the S tier. So I'm going to put it in the A tier. Now season 2 of Batman Beyond, like I said with season 1 of Batman Beyond being easily the best season of the show, I think season 2 is easily the worst, because just at the start of season 2, it's not very good. The first 3 episodes are some of my least favorite episodes of the show. I think the premiere is decent, but the 2 episodes that follow, I don't really enjoy rewatching, and it just has some not so great episodes throughout. And there isn't really a memorable episode that sticks out to me from season 2. But it's still enjoyable to watch. I still love Batman Beyond. There are some good episodes in the season of course. It's not just awful. So I'm going to put it in the B tier. It's just not as memorable as the first season. And it doesn't have as memorable episodes as season 3 does. So going off of what I just said. Season 3 overall the season isn't quite as memorable as season 1 is. But 
Season 3 does have some great episodes, some of my favorite episodes in the entire show. And I just want to backtrack to Season 2 real quick. I said it doesn't really have memorable episodes, but the Egg Baby is in that season, and that's a really memorable episode of the show in my opinion, so just had to throw that out there. But Season 3 has my favorite episode of Batman Beyond of all time out of the past, and I wish Batman Beyond would have got a proper ending, which it did eventually in JLU, but... The series finale of Batman Beyond, if you can even call it that, is really underwhelming, but of course it wasn't supposed to be the series finale, so I don't really hold that against the episode. The two-part Curse of Cobra, it's one of my least favorite episodes in the entire DCAU. It's a very uninteresting storyline, and it did not require two parts at all. It's kind of just a waste of screen time, in my opinion. But Season 3 isn't terrible, it still has some memorable and enjoyable episodes, but Season 3 is only, it only consists of 13 episodes, which is good for a season in my opinion, because Season 2 had a disadvantage having 26 episodes. Season 3 has my favorite episode of the show, it also has a memorable two-parter, The Call, that introduces us to the Justice League, which signaled for the Justice League TV show, which is of course amazing. So I'm going to put Batman Beyond Season 3 in the A tier. Batman the Animated Series Volume 1, this is going to go by volumes and not seasons, which I think is good. I think it's better to look at Batman the Animated Series in terms of volumes and not seasons, because Season 1 of the show in terms of air date was 65 episodes, which is ridiculous. But Batman the Animated Series Season 1, I don't think this show, you could tell it was going to be great, you could tell it was great, because there are amazing episodes in the show. Heart of Ice is in Volume 1, the most iconic show within the DCAU, without a doubt. Joker's Favor, the episode that introduced Harley Quinn. But this show hadn't quite yet found its footing, I don't think. I don't think it does that until Volume 2. So it's really hard for me here. I want to put it in the A tier, but at the same time, I think it kind of deserves B tier. Because as it does have some of the most iconic episodes like Joker's Favor, Heart of Ice, and Beware the Great Ghost. Also, Two-Face, it has some of the worst episodes such as The Underdwellers, Prophecy of Doom, and The Forgotten, episodes like that. And it also has the most infamous episode of the show, I've Got Batman in My Basement. So this is really hard for me, but I think I'm going to put it in the B tier just because it's not quite as balanced as some of these. Volume 2 of Batman the Animated Series is where I think the show really cemented its place in time. Some of the best episodes of the show are in this volume, some of the most iconic episodes, some of the most emotional episodes. Probably the most talked about episode right next to Heart of Ice, Almost Got Him is in this volume. Riddler's introduction episode is probably the second greatest introduction episode next to Mr. Freeze's. The Man Who Killed Batman is also one of the best episodes of the show, one of the most memorable episodes. There are much, much more, so many memorable things about this season. But there are also some bad episodes, some of the worst in the entire show that are contained in this volume. And the good definitely does outweigh the bad, but I don't think it outweighs it enough for this volume to quite get into the S tier. I don't think it quite measures up to Return of the Joker or Mask of the Phantasm, but I think it's very, very close. I'm going to put it in the A tier. I do think this is better than the two seasons of Batman Beyond that are there, but not by too much. Volume 3 of Batman the Animated Series isn't a downgrade from Volume 2 at all, although I do prefer Volume 2 slightly, but I think in terms of quality, it is on equal footing. Some may say it's better. This volume, season, whatever you want to call it, it introduces Ra's al Ghul, and Ra's al Ghul is there, he's a presence throughout the season, and that might be the first major sign of continuity in, in this show. But also, this just has some of the greatest episodes of the show as well. It displays Batman's rogues terrifically. It introduces the character of Bane because this is the first season after his introduction into the comics. It also does something very interesting with a lot of the villains towards the back half, towards the end of the season, which is puts them through a redemption arc, but they seem to always find their way back to crime. And that gives us some of the best episodes of the entire show, such as Riddler's Reform, Harley's Holiday, Second Chance, 
the first redemption reformation story was in volume two with birds of a feather the penguin and then they took that because that was a fantastic episode and did it with many of the villains in volume three and i think it really works just to display how crime always seems to pull these villains back in the city of gotham but like I said, this is close to Volume 2 in terms of quality, so I'm going to put it in the A tier as well. The New Batman Adventures. This seems to always get more hate than Batman the Animated Series itself does. And I kind of understand it, but at the same time, not really. Because there's not too much of a dip in quality between the original Animated Series and this. It still feels like a continuation of Batman the Animated Series. It still feels like it's part of the show and many people consider it to be. Not too many people consider it to be separate, but some do. And the only major difference is, of course, the animation change, but they did that to better fit with the Superman the Animated Series style. So I'm fine with it. I kind of like having a different animation style for Batman after three volumes of the same animation style. I like changing it up. But there are some awful episodes in this season, some of the most horrible episodes of the entire series like Critters, probably the most hated episode of the show next to I've Got Batman in My Basement. But it also gave us amazing episodes such as Mad Love, Over the Edge, and Old Wounds. I think it's really a half and half season, but I think the good outweighs the bad a little more so. When I say half and half, I don't really mean that because I'm not going to put this in the C tier. I don't think it quite deserves that. I'm going to put it in the B tier. I think it's, I think volume one of Batman the Animated Series is a bit better than the new Batman Adventures. But I think the new Batman Adventures comes close to the original series and isn't way worse than it is. Now on to Justice League Season 1. I think this is the most disappointing season in the entire DCAU. Just because everything that came before it, all the previous seasons, excluding Static Shock and Zeta Project, are better than it, in my opinion. And this should have been the best season up to this point, you would think. It's the Justice League. This is what the entire DCAU has been building to. And there are great episodes within the season, but there are also some very lackluster episodes as well. Some of the worst in the series. Some of the most looked down upon episodes in the DCAU, such as War World and Fury, episodes like that. Just some forgettable episodes. It has episodes like Legends and The Savage Time that are very memorable. But overall, the season was a disappointment. It's perfectly watchable. It's enjoyable. But especially compared to Justice League Season 2 and JLU, which follows this, it is not a very good season. But I'm going to put it in the C tier because it's still a good season. It's not a bad season. It's just a disappointing season. Justice League Season 2. This was really something special. Justice League Season 2 is amazing. The writing, the character development, everything about the season is amazing. Some of the most important episodes within the DCAU are in this season. Arguably the most important episode of the DCAU is A Better World because JLU takes that episode, the concept of that episode, and runs with it. That is a major plot point in Justice League Unlimited. So you kind of have that episode to thank for the setup in Justice League Unlimited and how great Justice League Unlimited is. You have that episode to thank. Also Twilight, it sets up something big that Justice League Unlimited delivers on. Just everything about Justice League Season 2 is amazing. The character interactions are there. The voice cast is on point. There are a couple episodes that aren't that amazing, but that doesn't stop the momentum of the season like Season 1 did or some of these other seasons that came before it do. This season is the first season I'm going to put in the S tier because it really was something special. Now on to Justice League Unlimited. The show a lot of people consider to be the best show in the entire DCAU. Some people consider this to be the best animated show of all time, the best animated comic book show of all time. A lot of people probably think this is the best comic book show of all time and for good reason. But this season really has Justice League Season 2 to think because it takes so much stuff that Justice League Season 2 set up 
runs with it and delivers on it perfectly, which you can argue that Justice League Unlimited is a continuation of Justice League, and it's like a season three of Justice League. Of course, it is a continuation. But it also ends Batman Beyond in outstanding fashion, since Batman Beyond couldn't do that itself. It got canceled before it got the chance to do that in what I would consider to be the greatest DCAU episode of all time epilogue. The Cadmus story arc is the greatest storyline in all the DCAU outside of Return of the Joker, in my opinion. So JLU is no doubt an S tier. Now on to the final show, we'll be talking about Superman the Animated Series. Volume 1 of Superman the Animated Series started the show off in fantastic fashion. The Last Son of Krypton is a great pilot, and throughout the season it introduces villains tremendously. Most of the villains' introduction episode are great episodes, and some of them are that villain's best episode. The season introduced us to Darkseid, who would of course become a major player in the show, the main antagonist of the entire series. There are also bad episodes, but I've said that about every season, so I'm going to stop saying it, I won't say it about future seasons. I don't think it quite stacks up to Justice League Season 2 or Justice League Unlimited, and I do think Batman Beyond Season 1 is better, but I do think it's close to that level, so I'm going to put it in the A tier. Now on to Volume 2 of Superman the Animated Series. I think a lot of the forgettable and lesser episodes of the show are in are within this volume, but also this volume has episodes like World's Finest, Ghost in the Machine, some fantastic episodes, some episodes that are very important to the entire DCAU, but like I said, it has some of the worst and most forgettable episodes within the show and the DCAU. So I'm going to put it at the B tier. I think that's fair. Volume 3 of Superman the Animated Series is where the Dark Side story arc really picks up and where Dark Side finally comes to Earth. His rivalry with Superman really picks up. Dark Side does some very important and impactful things, not only in the show, but in terms of the entire DCAU. He does some stuff that's on a very large scale, and the series ends with him versus Dark Side and the series wasn't supposed to end here much like Batman Beyond. It got cancelled before it could end properly, but the finale of Superman the Anime series feels much more like a finale and a conclusion to the show than Batman Beyond's finale did. And the things that happened in the finale are referenced in future seasons, specifically Justice League Season 2, but it isn't referenced too much, but the finale is still an epic conclusion to the series, and it's an awesome episode. This isn't quite a perfect season. I don't think it matches up to Justice League Season 2 or Justice League Unlimited. Those are just two very special seasons of TV, but I'm going to put it in the A tier. So I kind of rearranged the tier to better showcase my ranking of the seasons. I didn't move the movies around there at the beginning of the tier just because... It'll look weird if I rank those with the seasons, but Justice League Unlimited is my favorite if you want to count that as an entire season, even though it consisted of two seasons, but you could look at it as a third season of Justice League. And Justice League Season 2 is my second. Those are the only two seasons I believe belong in the S tier. They are something else. They are special seasons. Then Volume 2 of Batman the Animated Series is my favorite that's not quite S tier, but it's really close. It just doesn't quite match up to those other two seasons. And my least favorite season is Justice League Season 1. It's not a bad season, it's just consisted of mediocre to d bad episodes. There are some great episodes, but overall the season's just very disappointing and kind of lackluster. But there's my tier ranking. Let me know yours down in the comments below. Do you agree with mine? Do you not? Just be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys sometime. We